Good evening, everybody. How's everybody doing? Great. Wow. Good evening, everybody. How's everybody doing? How's everybody doing? Good evening. I should be greeting whole life. Good evening, everybody. How's everybody doing? Great. Great. <laughs> Anyhow, uh, my name is Jason Shin from uh, United States, uh, the, the Royal Master from Academy. But uh, let me start my story right away because I don't have enough time. But I went to America in 1996 when I was 26. I didn't have enough money. I brought only $500 from Korea and I had to save that money for like more than a year to make $500 to end, and buy an airplane ticket and went to the United States. And of course, just like here, it's, it costs a lot of money to live in the United States. So I had to take a job. My first job is from a restaurant. And the manager was a Korean. So he gave me a job. I couldn't speak English, so he gave me a job as a bus boy. Anybody know what the bus boy is? No. Except for Craig. So bus boy doesn't drive bus in a restaurant. Okay? Bus boy is supposed to clean the dishes out of the table. That's, that was the first boy. So I started my US life as a bus boy, making about $200 a week, which was a lot of money for me at the time. But if you, once you start using that money, it was nothing. And I was at, working as a bus boy cup, like, for like three months, and I figured the waiters making more than double the amount of money. Guess what I had to do? I had to become a waiter so that I could make more money, right? So I asked the manager, how do I become a waiter? He said, you should be able to take the orders from the customers in English. Did, could I speak English at the time? No. I couldn't. So I asked my manager again, how can I improve my English? He said, listen to radio. <laughs> listen to radio. And that, uh, in my state, uh, there was a 1010 10 news. The frequency, AM frequency is 1010, and they call it 1010 10 news. Why? Because they say this. If you give us 10 minutes, we'll give you the word. So they repeat every single news from all over the world in 10 minutes. So guess how fast they, repeat, they read the news? <laughs> it was like, woo, woo, woo. I had no idea when they started the sentence and when they finished the sentence. <laughs> It was just too fast for me. And they repeat the same news every 10 minutes. I, if you miss it once, you get to listen again on, on 10 minutes later. No matter how many times I listen to it, it's just same. <laughs> what did I just say? You have no idea, right? That was exactly how I felt when I listening to the radio. So I asked my manager, you know, that doesn't make, make any sense. How do I improve my English? You know what he said? Keep listening to the radio. <laughs> I was like, wow, it's kind of nonsense. I don't understand anything. And he, he's telling me to listen over and over and over again. You know what I did? I kept listening to the radio. I, I bought a earbud and I start listening every single moment. Every time I have a free time, I'm listening to the radio. Slowly, I start to understand some English words, and I was able to take the orders from the customers, and finally I became a waiter. And that's me in 1996, which is uh, almost 23 years ago. I was so proud of myself, I took a picture, I'm a waiter now. <laughs> <laughs> so, I was able to make more money. So if you make more money, what happened to you? You spend more money, right? So you stay broke again. Even though you make more money, you're always broke. You're always out of money. You're always short of money. So what happens if you meet a beautiful, wonderful lady? What happened to you? I, I see a lot of guys here. What do you do if you meet a beautiful, wonderful lady? You spend, <laughs> you spend all the money you have, right? But actually, I spent more money than I had. So that was me with my wife. So I, I was able to get married with her. If you meet a beautiful, wonderful lady, what happened again? 
ba babies coming out. <laughs> I have one, two, three babies, just like that. So, guess what I had to do? You know, I was, I started my U.S. life as a bus boy, and I started doing a lot of different kind of job, and I was uh, doing, uh, delivering newspaper, delivering food in a Chinese restaurant, and delivering the garment from the uh, uh, dry cleaners. I was working for uh, selling the light bulbs. I, I was working as a pedicure in the nail salon. I was doing so different kind of job. You know, guess what I used? Uh, all these uh, jobs, what's, what's common in all these jobs? All labor jobs. If you want to make more money, you have to work more hours. Since I came to America with no English speaking skill and no education level and not a not really handsome face. <laughs> so all I had to do was a labor job. As I have more and more family members with my children, I had to be working more and more hours to make more money. But after I get three babies, I was working all the time. I found myself, if I'm not sleeping, I was working. That was my American life. I came to make an American dream, but I ended up working all the time. All the time working. If I'm not sleeping, working, 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 trying to make money. But because of the family size, never had enough money. So, um, and what, so I had to work really hard. And one day, one of my friends called me. Hey, Jason, you gotta buy a house. And I said, you know, I, I, I don't have any money. He said, exactly, you have to buy a house because you don't have any money. Doesn't make any sense, right? That was 2007. You know, the subprime mortgage crisis from USA? That's when I bought my house too. They're not supposed to sell the house to a guy like me who doesn't have any money. But he, at the time he told me, hey, they don't require any down payment, so that this is your last chance to buy a house. If you don't buy a house now, you're never gonna buy a house in your lifetime. That was true, because I don't have any money. So, I bought a house. That was my biggest mistake in my life. As soon as I bought my house, everything started going down. The economy goes down, my income goes down, everything is going down. And I had big trouble paying the mortgage every month. Every month. And I was so, tired of working every single moment. And about a couple of months later, my wife called me again. She said, I'm pregnant. I couldn't believe my ears. <laughs> we have three babies already, remember? <laughs> and she said, I'm pregnant. So I'm really, really, wanted to kill myself because she's pregnant because of me. <laughs> and I I was so shocked and I fell down, I hurt my ankle. <laughs> really, it happened. But I couldn't go, I couldn't afford to go to the hospital. I had to keep working. That's why my left ankle is still uh, sometimes hurt. Almost recovered by some sometimes. So I told my wife, you know. We cannot afford to, another, to have another baby. So we made an appointment with the hospital. She agreed. About 10 days after we make an appointment with the hospital, every time I go to church, every time I try to pray to my God, God said, you have to have this baby by faith. He said, Hebrew chapter 11, by faith everybody follow his order. So you should follow my order. You have to keep this baby by faith. But you know what, at the time, you know how difficult situation I had? You know, I, I, I was having trouble paying the mortgage every month. Every day I was worried how to survive another day, another day. And having another baby in the United States, it was nonsense. Of course, I could do anything by faith, but the real life is not for me. It was against me. But anyhow, I repent because I'm a Christian. I should keep the baby. So I confess, okay, I keep the, keep the baby. But you know, the real life doesn't get any better. Everything is getting even worse and worse. So finally, 
2009 January, I had to give up the house. But the same, very same month, 2000, not January 9, 2009, my number four came out to the world. It's my number four. So with, with 20 days old baby and three other kids, we had to move out from the house. We were forced to go, go to the street with no house. And that was my saddest uh, moment, moment in my lifetime. My wife was crying whole month, packing by herself because I had to be working outside. And I so hated seeing her crying every day because I feel like I'm the loser. You know, as a guy, you know, I, I see a lot of guys here. As a guy, if you, if you make your wife cry just because you're not capable, that makes really, really feel me really sad. But anyhow, we, we were kicked out of the house with a 20 days baby. You know, it was snowing day in the United States. It's not like here. So I had, I had a, a very, very tough life. About one and a half year later, a strange lady from Korea came to me and asked me a question. Do you know Anthony? I had no idea at the moment I'd be standing in front of a lot of people and giving speech at the time. At the time, I was just like a loser. I didn't care anything. I just want to work, that's it. I just want to finish my day, and tomorrow morning, if I wake up, hopefully I don't wake up. If I wake up, I, I live another day. I had no hope. Every single day, I wish Jesus come down and finish the work, this world tomorrow. That's my wish at the time. Because I couldn't have enough courage to live another day, another day like this. But that strange lady, excuse me. That strange lady came from America, I mean, uh, Korea, asked me a question, do you know Anthony? I said, I don't care what the heck is that. And she, you know, since I asked her what the heck is that, she started explaining it. And it sounds like what? Sounds like netto marketing. <laughs> and as soon as I realized it sounds like netto marketing, I said, no thank you. <laughs> Why? Because I've done netto marketing six times already. Why did I six, the, uh, netto marketing six times? Because, you know, that was the lesson that I learned from America. If you want to be rich, never work for somebody else. Do your own business. Work for yourself. <clears throat> That's what I learned. So I was looking for my own business opportunity, but I don't have any money, I don't have any skill, so I couldn't do any my own business. Only thing avail available for me was netto marketing. So I did six netto marketing company. And when I said no thank you to her, she didn't go away. She keep e explaining it. And I catch no joining fee, no monthly requirement, no annual fee. And no website fee. Do you think I liked it? Yeah. No, I didn't like it because there was no free thing in the world. <laughs> I became more suspicious. <laughs> what is free, you know? You, you see four big letters with F-R-E-E, -E, right? <laughs> Sounds like a free, right? But if you see fine print underneath, you don't even have to read the fine print because if you see the fine print, it's not free. Am I right? So I don't believe free things. But she said, this is really free. And I figured that was really free. And she said, you have nothing to lose, right? I had nothing to lose anyway. So I became a member. And she started inviting me to a seminar. And I know about seminar because if you go to seminar, they try to brainwash you. <laughs> <laughs> of course, I'm trying to brainwash you too. <laughs> you, you came to seminar. And I, my job is to brainwash you. <laughs> so that's why, that was the same reason I didn't want to go to the seminar. But she said, the seminar was free too. <laughs> Do you think I'm interested in? No. I became even more suspicious. 
Wow, what kind of company is this? Do they give you product for free too? I was really, really su uh, suspicious. But you know, one corner of my heart says, hey Jason, it says, she says it's free. Why don't you just go out, go there and find it out? Check it out. So I just followed my heart, went to the seminar, and listened to the CEO. And I found a very, very simple rule in business. He said, if you sell the better product with a cheaper price, no one can beat you. In the business world, if you have a better quality product with a cheaper price, you will win. Yes. It was very simple, but very powerful. And he explained all those things for four hours. Four hours. In the beginning, he was like that. Of course, I'm not gonna go four hours tonight. <laughs> you don't have time, I don't have time. But this is what I found. In business, if you just keep the principles, your business will continue to go. And we will sell better quality product with a cheaper price continue to do it, then my company, this acting company will continue to go and you will be successful. I was like so blown away. And I start, start, uh, started start studying about Atomy and I asked my sponsor, okay, let me, let me learn about the compensation plan. And you know what my sponsor said? I don't know how to teach that. <laughs> I don't know how to explain that. She didn't even know how to explain about the compensation plan. You know how much she's making these days? $35,000 every single month, and she's traveling the whole world. My sponsor. You don't have to, per you don't have to be perfect in anatomy to be successful. Okay? So, let me talk a little bit about what's going on outside. Industry, I divide into two different categories. One is automobile industry, the other one is smartphone industry. Automobile industry used to create a lot of jobs. One car factory creates a lot of jobs, right? But not anymore. Smartphone industry kills all of the jobs. In my town, there was one uh, Bank of America office that closed a couple years ago. Why? People don't go to bank anymore. All of them, most of the people, they, they just do the banking by their smartphone. And when was your last time you bought map? Anybody know map? Yes. You know the paper thing with all the words? Do you, do you remember? Yes. And what, when was your last time you bought map? Uh, Can you even remember? Yeah. Yeah. We all use our smartphone to go to navigator, use navigator, right? How about kids today use their Yeah, it's confusing. Uh, you know, kids, do they play with the toys or do they play with the uh, tablets? <coughs> tablets. You know, smartphone replaces all of the jobs. Very scary. You know, this is Wall Street Journal 2017 April. They said all these companies are closing their business like that. And as a result of that, Toys Rush. You know, this is a, a number one toy store in America. They closed. And these Sears, they've been doing their business for 100 years, they closed. How about the future? Google, Facebook, Microsoft, IBM, Intel. You know what are they doing in common these days? They are investing billions of dollars into artificial intelligence making everything smarter and even more smarter. Which means everything is getting smarter. Which means a lot of people will lose their job. What do you have to do to make you living? Very scary. How about capitalism? Are you in capitalism or, co or communism? Capitalism. If you're in capitalism, this is true. The rich gets richer, am I right? Yes. And the poor gets? Total. Gap is getting bigger. And as the economy grows, the middle class falls down. Why? Because they are growing without hiring people. Since 2015, the richest 1% people owns 99% of the wealth of the world. This is 2019. Do you think it's getting better or getting worse? It's getting worse. So if you're not 
sure about 1% income, this is how much they are making in America. If you in 1%, this is how much you should be making. Anybody making more than a million dollars a year? Here? If you're making this much money, you don't have to be sitting here. Right? But if you're not in the 1% side, that means you're in 99% side. That means you will be poorer and poorer. Somebody said, hey, Jason, I made more money than last year. What are you talking about? You know what? Even though you make more money than last year, the value of money is dropping. Right? So, the capitalism looks like this. You know, the big fish is trying to eat small fish. Are we a big fish or a small fish? We are the small fish. So what do we have to do then? We have to unite ourselves together. We have to keep us inside. And we call it masculinism. I said, you have to change the, change the rule of the game. You know, we are playing their game. Capitalism, they made a system and they want us to play their game. Who's gonna win the game? They're gonna win the game. Who has, who has a lot of money already? And if you try to make money and if you try to work hard, because if you work hard, they make me more money, not you. So what you have to do is you have to change the rule of the game, not capitalism, but masculinism. Then we become like this. We become the big fish together. <laughs> so this is what we have to do. So you want to be successful? Yes. You know, if you want to be successful, Thomas Jefferson said, if you want something you never had, you have to do something you never done. So you have to try something new from today if you want to be successful. How to make it success? Research about anatomy. Don't just come here and sit down, hmm, let me listen what they talk about. If you just listen, it doesn't make any sense. You have to go home and do your homework. Research about the company. Research about the product. Research about the compensation plan. And research about what atomy system offers you. Like I said, Craig said, that I said, your effort is only 1%. And 99% of your success is provided by the company. <coughs> if you don't utilize this tool, how can you be successful? Because if you go out there, you have to use your 100% effort to be successful. And you are living the result of your life. Do you like your lifestyle now? If you don't like it, you have to come to Atomy and use Atomy system for your success. Atomy is willing to help you to be successful. Let's give a round of applause to our... <laughs> so, if you research, <coughs> if you research, you have better understanding. You have to have better understanding in your brain. Someday, you'll go to your subconscious and you control your faith. Once you have faith about your success, no one can stop you, except for you. You're the only enemy you have. No one can stop you once you have faith. Once you have faith, set your goal. Set your goal, right? What you, are, you want to be. What lifestyle you want to live. Set your goal, write down your bucket list. After you set your goal, what do you have to do? Bring to action, right? Very simple, everybody knows this, but it's so hard to do it. After you put into action, what's gonna happen? What's the next? Huh? Result? Yeah, of course, you're gonna fail. <laughs> you will fail. That's why most people make a mistake. When they listen to Atom presentation, they think they will be successful right away. It's not true, you will fail. But what we do for you is, whenever you fail, we encourage you to start all, all over again. Come back to center and research again. And find out the lesson that you have to learn. Because if you don't learn, you're never gonna be better. And if you're never gonna be better, you're never gonna be successful. You will fail more than 100 times and you will feel like you're
kid more than 100 times before you make a success. So this is what you have to do. You have to keep repeating this all over and over and over again. After you make a failure and you go back to research, this is the one cycle. You have to finish this one cycle to have an experience. Anatomy experience. If you don't have any experience in anatomy, you're not getting a leader. <clears throat> what if somebody asks you, hey Jason, uh, in this case, what do I do? And you have no idea what to do. Can you lead the team? Huh? Hello? <laughs> no. You have to have experience, a lot of experience. If you want to have a lot of experience, then you have to fail a lot. And learn a lesson every time you fail, okay? So every time you have experience, repeat it. And then that will lead to your success. The law of accelerate, acceleration. Over the time, over the time, your work is getting smaller. All right? In the beginning, you feel like it's really difficult to do this business. Why? Why you feel like it's difficult? Because you've never done this before. Right? This is new to you. Have you done that to marketing before? You don't, don't raise your hand. <laughs> Even though you did network marketing before, Atomy is totally different. So you have to learn from the beginning. And this is totally new. Since this is totally new, it will feel like it's hard. It's difficult. But don't worry, if you keep on doing it, doing it, doing it, then it, it's going to get easier and easier and easier. And your viewer is getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Of course, you're not making a lot of money from the beginning. Why? Why are you not making a lot of money in the beginning? <coughs> huh? Because you don't have enough consumers under you. You're the only one consuming the product from you, right? Right? If you don't even use the product, you cannot make any consumers. So start using the product for yourself. And then start making consumers. But if you have only few consumers, you're not making a lot of money. How many members do I have under me? About 13,000 people. That's why I'm making a lot of money. But did I have 13,000 people from the beginning? No. I started with myself and a couple of people and a couple of people and they started signing up their people and their people and their people. That's how it gets bigger and bigger. Now I'm making a lot of money. But, but those people just getting started, they're not making a lot of money in the beginning. So your job is to make a lot of consumers. Can you make a lot of consumers by yourself? No. Maybe you can make a, about 20 consumers. But one of them will do the business just like you and then make their twenties. And out of these people, somebody will do it again and again and again. That's how you get a lot of people in the future. But in the beginning, you don't make a lot of money. But you will make a lot of money. Someday, you don't have to work. You don't have to work. You know, you know to make money in enemy, do you have to sell the product or not? Let me ask you one more time. You know to make a lot of money in the atomy, do you have to sell the product or not? No. You have to sell the product in the beginning. But the good news is you don't have to sell the product forever. I started selling the product to myself and to my friends. Hey, try this, try this, try this. That's how you sell. What's the first message? What do you call the first message? Huh? Sales master, right? Guess what you have to do to become sales master? You have to sell. You have to sell. Who says you don't have to sell to be successful? You have to sell a lot of products to become a sales master, not buy master. Am I right? Yes. Sales master, not buy master. So you have to start selling the product. But the good news is you don't have to sell the product forever. Am I selling any product these days? I don't even remember when was my last time selling the product. I don't remember. Why? Because I don't have to sell. And I don't have a chance to sell. But my income continues to come to my bank account about $30,000 every single month. Is that right? Is that good? Good.
So, a lot of people think the success looks like this. But actually, the success looks like this. It's not simple. It's really, really complicated. So, you have to think. Like I said, we feel like to quit more than 100 times before you make any success. Okay? So, if you feel like to quit, that's normal. That's normal. And you have to go through those feelings that you want to quit. Right? Every time you feel like to quit, what do you have to do? Come to seminar. Come to seminar. Somebody said that? Good. Come to seminar. Guys, do you want to build your muscle? Where do you want to build your muscle? Home or gym? Why? Because you try to do the what the, do the what is that? The dumbbell at home. You try ten times. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, I'm done enough, right? <laughs> but if you go to gym and you done ten times and then you see somebody with a bigger muscle, what happened to you? Okay, one more time. <laughs> what do I mean by that? You get motivated. You cannot survive alone. You have to come to seminar to motivate each other. So never say any negative things in the seminar. Always encourage others, always, to motivate them. And then someday they motivate you. We all make a success together with that way. And what kind of life do you want to live in three to five years later? Think about the life. What kind of life do you want to live? Always think and write it down and read it to yourself and read it to somebody else. Especially for your family members. Oh, you know what? In five years, we'll be traveling the whole world just like Jason Shem. I know if buying a house and buying a car in Singapore is rich, really, really hard, right? Someday we are, we're gonna own a house. Someday we're gonna be uh, driving a car. Write it down and think like that. Because it's possible in enemy. Every thought we think is creating our future. So if you think, oh man, I don't think I can do that. You're creating that future. You cannot do that. But if you think, you know I'm gonna do it. Jason Shin, <laughs> he's not handsome than me. I'm hand, more handsome than Jason Shin. I can make even more success. I can give better speech. I can make a bigger success. If you think like that, you are creating your future ready. Your subconscious start working to make yourself to be successful like that. Five years. Less hundred years make bigger change than last thousand years. Last 10 years have more changes than last 100 years. Your five years from now on will create bigger changes than your last 15 years. I don't care what you've done for your lifetime. In Adamy, if you do Adamy business with us, in three to five years later, you can create whatever you want to create with Adamy because Adamy is that powerful and Adamy provides everything you need. Usually they applause in this way. <laughs> this is me when I was, uh, when I became a star master. Guess how much that is? Huh? $10,000. Look at my wife. Does she look happy or sad? She look happy, right? Let me show you something. This is when we become a royal mess. How much that is? $50,000 in cash. Look at my wife. <laughs> Guys, I see you guys. Right? You have to do Adam. You have to do Adam to make your wife happy. Yes. Happy wife, 
happy life. <laughs> if you're not making your wife happy, you cannot be happy. So make your wife happy by doing acting business. Otherwise, you cannot make your wife happy. <laughs> ladies, ladies, do acting business because if you are happy, the world is happy. <laughs> That's my family last December. We took a picture when the Christmas was the time. And that's me, obviously, my wife, my number one, number two, number three, number four, my mother-in-law. We're living, seven people living together. You know, we are so happy. I'm so happy. Most of all, I'm the one happiest. Why? I met Adam. And I research about Adam. And I have bad understanding about Adam. And I had a faith. I, I found a treasure in the Adam. I have to get the treasure because I was so desperate. Now, the whole family is happy. We are so happy. Every single morning when I wake up, nine years ago, I didn't want to live another day. But every single morning these days, I wake up with a smile. Because I have a bright future. I have no stress about money. Money is the devil. Am I right? Yes. If you're living in capitalism, you have to take care of the money problem someday. I took care of my money problem in nine years. How about you? If you have to work for money, that means you are sl still slave of money. Because you have to work for money. And you have, you have to listen to somebody who pay you. If you don't listen to them, they fire you. That's why you have to listen to them, to make money. That's not a freedom. The real freedom comes from financial freedom and timely freedom. In me, they give you both. And to give you money, and I tell me give you time. And on top of that, I tell me give you a lot of friends. This is my first time coming to Singapore. And I think I can come more often. Am I right? You know, somebody said, you cannot buy happiness with the money. But I think, you can certainly protect your happiness with your money. Somebody said, money is the root of every evil. Why? Because they use the money for bad things. But money is the root of every goodness. Why? If you use your money for good things. Just like our CEO. Everybody who become royal leaders can remember we follow our CEO. We see all the great things. So money is the root of every goodness. And it's never too late. <laughs> Ken Ha, he said, you can take your time. But you know what? You better hurry. Because you want to taste the real freedom as soon as possible. So good. So good. That's why you want to tell a lot of people. I became a missionary veteran. Why? Because I was so poor, now I'm rich. Now I know how the poor life is. I want to tell those people. Nine years ago, a strange lady came to me. Do you know Anthony? They changed my life. You have no idea how many people's life you can change out there. A lot of people out there waiting for you to tell or ask, do you know Anthony? Why? Because it's going to change their life and your life too. It's so good to have a good influence to other people. Add to me is giving you all this opportunity. Everything is possible in Avenue. Trust and believe it, you can do it. You can create your future from now on. So next time I see you, everybody have a big smile with a big round of applause. Thank you very much for your time.